th those things are there. It is very prevalent. And hacking, I think most of you must be knowing what is hacking. Someone might be sending you a, a link, and then if you click on that link, they will be able to hack your phone or create, uh, download your, expect your data. Okay. And spamming is you might receive email or phone like that. Uh, someone might send you regular, regularly one mail, particularly many, many times. That is also called spamming. Okay. And nowadays, uh, one thing I would like to point out is that people of more distant region are being duped a lot. How? You might not, you might ask how, without the permission, how can they dupe you? So, what we have, even in our bank itself, we have seen multiple customers. So, they will open their account, uh, an ABL ATM card, checkbook, whatever, and then they will sell the ATM card to mainland Indian people for rupees 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. And then, that, those accounts are used for illegal transactions, fraud or whatever type of uh, terrorist funding or maybe they, they will utilize for that kind of transaction. And then after fraud has happened, the customers will file a FIR with the concerned police stations in the, any part of India and then we will receive mail. And then last year also, um, Kerala police has visited our bank also. Why? Because there were two customers, there were two people who sold their account for 15,000. See, 15,000, okay. What will you do with 15,000? You, you just spend 15,000 within one week. It will be over. But your name will be there in the police record. How, how will you say that this is not done by me? When you have visited the bank and then you have opened the account, you cannot deny. So that is the case what is, uh, what, uh, which is very common in the Northeastern states. So we have to be a little aware and then we have to but awareness to our friends, family members who are not well educated like you also. <coughs> Some people, those who are in, uh, those who are farmer or in the village, they might not know these things. If someone tells them that open an account in any bank and give us ATM card, we will give you fifteen thousand. They will be very, um, they will easily be willing to do that one. Why not? They will be getting free money of fifteen thousand. And what will they do with that ATM card? This thing. So that is what is happening. So you have to help the bank also uh, in imparting this financial awareness. And next we will move on to, see there are many products of the bank, but I will not go into details because mainly we are conducting this scam to impart financial awareness or general awareness. Okay, but in the meantime I would just like to uh, mention a mention few points with regard to our bank also. Uh, we give all types of loan, be it for a salaried customer or uh, a businessman or an agriculturist like a farmer. So, for a salaried customer, too, we can we th this this will be most likely for the staffs uh, because the students are not yet employed. So, um, we won't be having this facility for you. But this this is basically for the staffs. We uh, like other banks. We are also providing auto car loan personal loan, home loan, property loan, and education loan. So if anyone is interested, we can have a personal discussion after the uh, meeting. And for business customers also, see, like our uh, vice principal has talked earlier, the number, the percentage of government employed in India as a whole is very, very, very less. I don't think it's even 5% of the total population. And we cannot expect everyone to be uh, employed under government sector. It is, it is not, Im it is impossible. It is not possible at all. So if everyone is in government sector, who will do the farming and who will do the business and who will run the economy? That is not, uh, that is very impossible thing. So what happens is why the government is focusing more on MSME. We call it MSME, micro, small, medium enterprises, and the agriculture sector. It's because only through MSME the economy can be brought up, okay? Because the salaried though they are doing their job, they are serving the MSME and agri people. Why not? No. So they are not. Yes, they are contributing to the economy uh, in respect to PSUs or PSBs uh, in terms of employment or in terms of uh, production. But basically, government what they do is they only regulate the people. They maintain the people. They manage or maintain the people. So. MSMEs 
and agriculture is the uh, we are the, the economy is very dependent upon them and expecting good number of uh, employment through them. So MSMEs will be basically categorized under uh, the type of turnover or the, ter the type of plan and equipment they are investing in it. But I will not go into details like that. But I will classification in another part is that it can be of service sector, it can be a manufacturing sector, it can be a trading sector. A manufacturing se sector can be a person who makes uh, tables, chairs, or any type of manufacturing activity. So those kind of activities are classified under manufacturing uh, sector. Trading will be like uh, selling of, uh, what do we call it, grocery, or any type of selling that is called trading. And service can be uh, under re repair of two-wheeler, three-wheeler, or your cell phones, mobile phone repairing shop, those kind, those kind of activities are uh, categorized as uh, services. So, like the vice principal has said, most of you uh, do not be disheartened, but I, I, I think even, not even maybe 50% of you will be employed under government sector. Okay, so do not be disheartened that, and do not think that the salaried sector is the highest and then you, you, you should not praise that, okay? That entity has to go. You should also be independent and you should start venturing in entrepreneurship also. Because entrepreneurship is the most rewarding sector as of now. So, uh, even our LDM sir has discussed one experience that he has done while he was in SBI as the chief manager. He has given one loan to one mudra loan to one person in Lumley who is manufacturing tables and exporting it to Kohati. So this, that kind of ex, uh, that kind of entrepreneurship is required from the uh, people, the common people, and especially the students. And I was told by the uh, uh, MS that from this year onwards they will be starting the skill courses as well. So those who are under the skill courses also, you can. Take finances from the bank as well, uh, as well. Uh, not only our bank but as a, a whole. Okay, so the types of finances that we are giving them, I'll specify only three loans as of now. Uh, in details, there are many products, but I'll specify only three. Uh, mudra loan is there. Mudra loan is basically basically for business person. If you are going to start a business or if you if you already have a small business and you want to expand it, that kind of business loan can be given under mudra loan. Okay. So there are finances, there are uh, opportunity available if you if you are interested and if you think that you can do it, uh, that confidence has to be there also. So Mudrado is for uh, MSCB for business people or for entrepreneurship. And the same like that, one scheme is also their PMEGP loan. This PMEGP loan is a Pradhan Mantri uh, Employment Generation Program. It can it is. Uh, it can be given loan to existing business person also, but for those who want to start their business also. See, if you do not have experience, uh, nowadays the banks might ask you for experience, how much have you opened the shop, how much are you routing your account also. These things might also be there as a part of the due diligence. But this PMGP loan, if you think that, if you think of a proper plan, or, or a project that you are interested in, and then you think that it will be profitable in the days to come, you can always avail this PMGP loan. But the, uh, and the good thing about this PMGP loan is you get a subsidy of maybe, right now uh, it is 35% for rural area, but uh, like I said, since it is under LMC now, the subsidy amount may slightly decrease. So if you take a loan of 10 lakhs, you will get a subsidy of uh, 3.5 lakhs from the government of India. So, which is a very good scheme uh, for a startup or for those who are uh, planning to uh, expand their business. So, you still after your course also, you, if you want to start your own business, uh, you can always approach us also. Or the actually the main concern department is KVIC and DIC. But anyways, we will be there to help and guide you all. Uh, and the next is PMFME. Nowadays, uh, this has started recently, I should say. It was there before, but um, implemented at a full span recently only. 
this is a food processing scheme uh, like this scheme that we uh, This is a food processing scheme which is very attractive, attractive actually. See nowadays I can see even in Dunglai that people are preparing these uh, pickles or whatever this type of food processing things are there. But uh, I really appreciate it but the products that we get here are not export quality. Okay, I should frankly say they are not export quality. So we to do to reach that certain level, we need the expertise, uh, and then we have we need to get certain uh, skill courses also. Like uh, the college will be starting the skill courses from this financial year, at uh, this academic year. So I believe it will greatly benefit the people of Rangli district. And under this scheme also, you get a subsidy amount from the government of India, and. Uh, this is one of the, I should say, the scope is very high for this uh, scheme because food to human beings, we cannot live without food. So, uh, whether it is a basic food or uh, I should say the additional food that we require, food is very much important. So, if we venture into these schemes, uh, I think the business will always sustain and will always grow. So, we should also look above that one. So, mm -hmm. and like I said, once your product is of export quality, you can always approach the government or any, if you don't have any guidance also, you can also uh, take the advice of the banks also. With our experience, we can mm, uh, help you with the tie-up also. You can export it to not only out, I'm not saying that you have to export directly to outside India, but at least to the neighboring states, so that your market share will also grow slowly. So now what we are having uh, in Lungle, most of the things that we are taking, bringing from outside. So, if you start preparing here, you can export to them also, right? Has to, the market has to go like this, inflow outflow has to be there. So that is how the uh, economy of a particular place or a particular state or a particular nation grows. And so that is one thing. And in details though, we cannot go because we have a very limited time and most of us might not be interested in the details also, but if anyone is interested further and is really um, wants to know deeper into the schemes now, we can have a talk later. And for agri also, for agri customers, we have all types of agri uh, products. If you want for fishery, if you want to go for piggery, poultry, or vegetables also, there are schemes. Uh, and one of the government schemes is KCC law. So if you, are, if, you are, if you wanted to uh, go to farming sector, see nowadays I should say, uh, I'll give one example. Uh, corporate world, everyone is, uh, I should say, almost most of the people out, out there in the world are now fed up of the corporate jobs. So what they are doing now is in Italy, uh, most of the corporate jobs who are working in Apple or Tesla, these big big companies, they have started, they have quit their job and they have started farming also. Uh, they know that farming is very profitable uh, if you have the basic knowledge and the basic uh, machineries. So uh, that is, this is one of the jobs that will never go out of, uh, as you say, how do I put that word? It will always be in, in use, this type of job, because uh, we, we cannot live, like I said earlier, we cannot live without food. So, and see here the scope of piggery and uh, this uh, cow farm is also, the scope is very huge because out here, I should, I'll just give an example. The cost of pork out here, how much is the cost of pork per kilo? 400, 450, if you need a proper kilo, you have to pay 500, yeah. right? 400, 500 per kilo is not that cheap. Okay, I should say. Out there, uh, actually I am from Nagaland. In Nagaland right now, the kg of uh, the price of pork per kilo is only 250. And in the neighboring state, just if you go to Assam, if I if I just cross that one border, it can be 180 also. So that is how cheap the price of pork out there is. Why is it so cheap? Because there are many porks available, right? Pigs available and many farms available. But here, why is it so costly? Because there are less number of uh, pig or cows available. So you can uh, start uh, 
uh, if you are interested, you can go ahead, you can take finances from the bank, you can uh, develop your uh, farm. So there is one field that is quite actually, uh, actually my, we used to discuss that I wish you start doing degree <coughs> farm out there in Lumele, why we are posted in Lumele. <laughs> so there is one scope that is, uh, as I should say, very good uh, as of now. And we'll go to next thing. Our bank, as of now, we have a kind of a video account opening also. Nowadays, you don't have to uh, give your documents and this and that, photo and all. We can just, right now also, we can just initiate uh, your account if you want to open. We can do a video call, video video recording will be here, and we can open your account. That's how times have evolved. Mm. It has it has reached a little later in this part of the world, but outside outside though it has this video account opening is not that new. But since it is a little new to our area, I have just mentioned that. And nowadays, if you do UPI transaction or mobile banking transaction, internet banking transaction, uh, no UPI to I don't think it requires. Yeah, UPI to doesn't require. But mobile banking and internet banking, most of the banks they will ask for OTP, whether you receive for OTP or not. But our bank has done away with this OTP thing. If you still want, you can use it. But now it is so you can, if you want to do any transaction, it is a soft token basis. So you have to just log in the app, and then you have to generate one token. You have to just click one button, and the transaction you can complete it. So OTP is not required, and. You don't have to wait for OTP, my OTP is not coming, my network is not good. You don't have to switch off, switch, off, switch on your phone also. And, not, uh, and apart from that one, we can, we have started giving mutual fund, demand account, life insurance, uh, these things also in the mobile banking also. So that is a slightly a gist of what our product, our bank is providing, I have just mentioned. Now, we have talked about loans, finances, these things. Okay. But, before taking any loan, you should have a, you, have, you should think before taking the loan that why do I need the loan? And if I take this loan, whether I will be able to repay the loan or not? Because loan is also a, not a, like free money. You will have to repay back, back that loan. So most, yeah, along with the interest, because nothing is free in this world, right? So, until unless you have a mindset that I should repay this loan, and whether I should be able to repay this loan or not, only once you are confirmed, you will approach the banks, I should say. Because nowadays, civil is very, very dangerous. Okay? Because now you are in the BABAC 5, 4, 5, 6 semester. You have just started your life, I should say. After you after you're graduated, you will be searching for a job. Once you get a job, you will get married and then you will have children and then once you have the children you will want to have to buy a vehicle right or you want to uh, construct a house or you will want to support your children for a higher education outside india or within india so as a human being if you are not from a very well-to-do family city honestly speaking uh, hardly one two person of the population is from a very very well-to-do family who doesn't require any banking uh, help okay so until unless we are not from those criteria, we should be well aware and well informed regarding the civil. Nowadays, if you have a bad repayment in the civil, later on after one year, two years, you will not be eligible for any loan. So if you do not repay the loan, that will affect your, uh, all your future plans. And as of now though, I think uh, even the recruitment procedures have started asking for civil. If you uh, check the recruitments like SBI bank exam recruitments also. They will specifically mention that if you have a default in your name, you will not be given appointment order. Okay, so that, that is how um, strict civil is now. So you have to be very well aware of it. So someone, uh, some people I have in my experience, I have seen some people who has taken agri loan Piggery loan for 1.5 lakhs, they will buy one bike, they will 
see, even though we are monitoring properly, yes, they are really big. Okay, we do a pre-sanction visit, post-sanction visit, we do visit every time. But what is happening is, if you are not investing that money for the purpose that you are taking, it will always backfire. Okay, so even though we are inspecting that, okay, they are really big, they are purchasing these things and all, but if you are diverting, suppose like if anything happens, nah, so uh, there are some, it always backfires. So you should not try to divert the fund. And if you are only convinced that you are going to buy uh, you, uh, or invest in the particular business or agriculture activities, you should uh, have the habit, that habit mentality. It should be there. And Let's try to be very responsible in our financial uh, career also. See, if you are achieving a very good uh, achievement in your uh, personal life or educational career also, if your financial career is already gone, then later on you might face problem in the future also. Okay, that is how I'll just put one, two lines. Now we will come to wealth management. <coughs> Before I start, start this wealth management, I just I just want to give an uh, example. Uh, in my in my uh, village, um, we are also not from a very well-to-do family, and the person that I know is also not from a very well-to-do family. Uh, they have been struggling, and then he is very studious, sincere, hardworking guy. He he got uh, a job. Uh, in, he cleared his NPSC exam. He is posted as DSP. As soon as he got the job, okay, everyone was happy, okay, and then he was earning in terms of at that time, it was 50, 60,000 was very huge amount at that time. Yeah, I'm talking about 10 years ago, 10, 11 years ago. At that time, a DSP salary was around like that. So at that time, DSP, if you clear this NPSC or NPSC, I should say this, even recently, the two ladies from uh, Lunglei has cleared this NPSC uh, service. So everyone was celebrating. Yes, we should celebrate because it's actually quite an achievement, right? But what happens is, if you don't do your financial planning properly, you are bound to go back to square one. So that guy, he cleared this NPSC service, he became an uh, employee service, and he's a DSP now. Before completing his one year job, he died. And then all the family hope gone. Because after one year two, he will not have any savings, and then pension also, it will hardly be, a, money will be very less. You cannot only survive with pension. So what happens is the family already all and went back to square one. They, they, they are at the level that how they were earlier also. Why, why that happened? It's because of not planning well. Uh, this, he did not plan for the future. So we have to plan for the future. So what I want to say is, see you. Okay, we are living and then we have to die at one point of time, I agree that one. But when you die, your family should not be, your family should be in a position to have a, uh, I should say, uh, in a financial condition that they you will be able to provide their fin uh, this, all their financial needs, at least the basic needs. So, we should have a life insurance, that is mandatory, I should say, because out here no one is aware of life insurance, but Life insurance also, there are many, many policies are there, or, 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 or uh, this, I should say, types of schemes are there. But I want to focus more on term insurance. But term insurance is applicable only to those who are doing business or salary. Because a student or unemployed people will not be able to avail term insurance. Because term insurance is basically, you will not get back any money if you leave. But if you die, uh, at least, uh, there are calculations depending upon the insurance companies, but basically you can, a, a government employee or a person who is doing business, they can easily do one crore time term swims, one crore term, term swims. If you do one crore term swims monthly, you, uh, yearly, you might have to pay for hardly uh, 10, 10 to, 10 to 15,000 depending upon the age. So monthly is not even 1,000. So if you are secure with at least one crore, if anything happens to you, your family will get that money, and then uh, with that, I'm taking example of one crore. It can be lesser also. It can be higher also. Okay.
care, depending upon your financial needs. So with that money, at least your family can survive. They can do something and from that they, they might be able to have a regular income. It may be small, it may be more, but your family will not go back to how they were before your job. Okay, that is how it is. And see, even us, if you die, if you are in salary, it may be your lecture, if you die, your salary, if your salary stops coming, how long do you think will your family be able to sustain? That also you have to think, right? So uh, many of us may not be having uh, 10, 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs in our savings account, but if you are having, that's well and good, right? So we have, we need to have a life insurance because life insurance is very, very mandatory. Once you are employed, you have to think about your child and your family. So life insurance, I will stop with, uh, stop with that. And now we will go to stock market. See, out here people are not much aware of it. And even me, I have a very limited knowledge, I should say. I'm not expert in these things. But uh, to give advice for regarding this insurance and mutual funds or stock markets, we a person has to be certified, okay? No one can just come and tell you these things. So if someone comes and explain to you this life insurance, mutual fund, these things, you should, you, you should be able to ask, are you certified? Right? Because uh, any Tom, Dick and Harry cannot explain this thing. So I, 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 I should say that I am certified in this mutual uh, insurance also, and regarding this NISM mutual funds also. So I have a little knowledge regarding this. So whatever I know, I will just share it. This stock market basically we have in India, we have uh, nationally recognized as you say. We have two markets, Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange. What happens in this stock exchange stock market is, uh, I should say these are very important or I should, uh, it's quite interesting okay, because the easiest way to get rich fast uh, is investment in stock market so or mutual fund. So, that, so I will just explain in brief. What happens in stock market is they will, they are uh, particular particular stocks will be on sale. And what are stocks actually? Those are the the assets of a company. So if I am having uh, a transport company and I have hundred buses, hundred buses, I have hundred buses, and hundred buses are my stocks. So if someone buys not directly, if, in, if I need investment, I want to expand my business. So I will uh, go to BSE or NSE and I will let my company uh, register. I will lease my company, okay? And then I will tell them I need this much money. So please, if anyone is willing to bet on me or if anyone is, want, wants to invest on me, you can give money, then they, they will sell. So what happens is, there might be some rich person, okay, who wants, or a regular trader uh, who, who usually invests in companies. So what will happen is, they will give money at least at the rate of one bus, okay. So he will say that, okay, I have one stock, I have, if you have 100 bus and if he buys one, uh, if he gives money for one stock, that means he has one share, right. So that is how it is, and with time, if, the, if my company expands, and if now I have after two years, I have 1,000 bus. So how much, how much share that guy will have? He has one share earlier, right? And now also he will have one share. But how much bus he will have now? 100 bus has become 1,000. So earlier he had one bus, now he will have 10 bus. That is the uh, growth of uh, return that he will get. Now if he wants to uh, okay, I have earned profit enough, I will uh, convert it into cash. So, he will sell his stocks and then he will get, he has paid for one bus, if that one bus was 100 rupees or 1 rupee, he will get back 10 rupees. So, how much profit is he getting in 2 years? So, that is how stock market actually works. I am just explaining in small explanation, uh, small example. So, and um, DMED actually, Earlier, uh, people used to go to BSC and NSC and carry this uh, physical paper and write this and that. Okay, 
Now though, everything has been ele electronic, el uh, through, done through electronic. So, demand is actually a demand materialization account. So you will have a, an electronic account where you can do the trading, okay? As of now, if you want to invest in SBI, it, there will be a specific share price. One, 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 one price may be, uh, I should say, I think it was 500, 600 maybe. So, and the DAC and the NAC might not allow you to buy only one. They might tell you to buy at least 10, 15, 20. So, if one, one, uh, one stock price is 500, if they tell you to buy at least minimum 10 you have to buy, then how much? 500, 5,000. So, if you don't have this 5,000 and you have only 1,000 but you still want to invest here, that is how we invest through mutual fund. Okay. Uh, this stock market to or demand account to you can directly buy the shares of the company Directly buy the shares of the company, but this mutual fund what happens is in this mutual fund uh, Fund managers are there like IDBI mutual fund or SBI mutual fund is there, Reliance mutual fund is there uh, and LIC mutual fund is there. So there are fund, many fund managers. They will collect money from common people like us 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 whatever amount they want to give, they will collect, collect and invest in many companies, small, small portions. So if they have 100 rupees, they will invest in say like 20, 30 companies and they will wait for the company to grow. And then once the company is grow, you will get the return back. So that is how actually a mutual fund works. And mutual fund is also, there are many schemes under it, but I will not go into details, but basically I will just explain three types of mutual fund. Those are large caps, mid caps and small caps. So what happens is large caps, large companies. Mid cap is big companies. And small caps are small companies of startup. Some portions will be invested in mid, uh, mid caps, some portions will be invested in small cap. So the shop is uh, distributed. So if anything happens there, there will, they can uh, pick up and then they will manage it. So this is the basic types of mutual fund. And there are also thematic schemes, we call it. Suppose like prior to COVID, those money who has invested in pharma companies, pharmaceutical companies, I should say, okay, uh, those who are making medicines, if they have invested 100 rupees in that company, after COVID, how much money they have increased? Any idea? They, uh, the profit increased more than uh, 100%, okay? They are getting back more than uh, 200. Why? Because after COVID, all the when, uh, medicine demand has increased. Everyone is consuming medicine like this. So uh, the share price has increased on the, for, for the pharmaceutical companies. But if you give example of real estate, who are into construction companies, the, in cities though, if you and I cannot just go and build a house because it's very, very expensive. To buy a small plot of land also, it goes in terms of crores. So what happens is there are companies who are uh, collecting money from the people and then they are building skyscrapers. Right. Skyscrapers, so it's not easy to build. So you cannot build with 5, 10, 10, 20 legs. So. so there are specific companies who build those buildings. So what happens is, when the COVID uh, strike the nation, all those buildings were stagnant. Nothing can be done. So their share price went down like anything, like this, from here to here, like that. So there are certain market rates involved in it. But if you are well aware of it, you are up to date, you can invest in mutual fund also. Or if you want, uh, I should say, uh, a return higher than the bank's FD or a savings account, uh, you can invest through mutual fund and multi caps. So your money will be safe only, you will, your capital will not go, but the return will also be higher than the bank's FD RTA. I'm saying these things, but actually, uh, banks prefer you to keep your money in savings account, <laughs> or current account, <laughs> or fixed deposit. And now the nation, recently the banking secretary has publicly said that now the banks are facing challenges. Because most of the people are investing their money in mutual fund. Now the money is less in banks now. So this is a concern for all the banks nowadays. Because people have started knowing that if you invest in mutual fund, you get more return than in banks. 
I'm just explaining this because I was invited to explain this thing. But basically, I, we, we prefer you to keep the money in our bank. <laughs> okay, that is the small of the things that I want to say. <clears throat> no one might advise you to invest, take out your money from our account and invest in mutual fund. Because the banks will not, uh, will not earn much in mutual fund. Only a small peanut amount of uh, locking fee might be there, but this is very minor. It can be ignored. So, I have whatever I have said, because out here, the Nordistan people too, we are not aware of mutual fund. Because we don't have uh, this facility and the knowledge or the expertise that this mutual fund requires. But out there in the central India, too, most of the people are rich only because of mutual fund. Those who have invested uh, 20, 30 years ago in the mines, they are uh, uh, this one, millennials now. So, the the, the way of multiplying the money. So it's very magical actually in mutual fund if you know how to invest. But there are certain ways it works, so you should be little aware of the market also. And if you see in the advertise nowadays in television, all this one market are linked to risks and associated this you have to read the rules and regulations properly or updated with market these things. So there are certain ways involved in it, but it's quite <coughs> rewarding. I will just explain. We have few customers, but it's not. We don't have very less also. But I'm giving two, three examples. This I have for privacy sake. I have removed the name and address these things. This person, he has been investing ten thousand, ten thousand per month. Every month he is investing ten thousand. And the money he has invested is six lakhs thirty thousand. Okay. And then how much money he is having now? Ten lakhs forty eight thousand. See, the money is about to be doubled now. He is getting a return of nearly twenty percent. If you keep your money in the bank savings account, you might get three percent, four percent. If you keep in FD, you might get seven percent. But this guy, he is getting a return of more than twenty percent. So. Money he has invested is only six lakhs thirty, but this is also uh, expected to grow further. So this is one example, and then this example also. This person has invested one lakh as a lump sum. We call it mutual fund. Also, there are two types of investment. One is SIP. That's a monthly repayment. Monthly you have to contribute fixed amount five hundred, one thousand, two thousand, and large sum. Uh, lump sum is at one time you have to invest one particular amount and then it is fixed. It will, you don't have to contribute again. So this person has invested in mutual fund uh, lump sum. He has invested one lakh uh, on 31st of October 2022. This statement was generated in 17 October. So just about one year and two months, mm. one year and two months or three months, his money has increased to one lakh thirty-two thousand. He is getting a return of more than twenty-five percent. Uh, the profit that he is getting. So if you keep in the bank, one lakh will become one lakh seven thousand, right? For fixed deposit. But he's getting one lakh, he's depositing one lakh, he's getting one lakh thirty-two thousand. So thirty-two thousand is a profit. Is there any equivalent of uh, dividends when we <coughs> invest in stock markets? Mm -hmm. The equivalent of dividends in mutual funds. See, dividends too. It depends upon your choice. Okay. When you when you when you, uh, tell the customers to fill up the forms and all. If you want a the stock market and mutual fund is almost the same, oh, there is nothing much change, different. But like I said, stock market too, you have to do by yourself everything. You have to invest your money in that company and when the company is profit, you have to sell again and then you have to invest there again. You have to be very active and then you have to do everything by yourself. But mutual fund is, you are assigning one particular fund manager to manage your fund. So you don't have to do anything, you just have to check. And that is different from the broker. The fund manager is different from the broker. It's basically a broker, yes. fund manager. Because they are broking on behalf of you. They are broking, they are investing your money on behalf of someone. Yes. So the, basically they are broker as fund manager. And the dividend goes to the broker? No, no, like I, I, I'll tell you that. Dividend to, see, even in stock market also, when you invest, you have an option to choose. Whether you want to get your dividend by cash, or you want to reinvest that dividend, okay? So it's upon you. But usually we tell our customer to reinvest the money. 
One year you are getting the dividend also, you will get back, but we will be reinvested in that company again. So that is how uh, this works. So dividends also, if you want payout also, once the company announces their financials, if they give dividends, you will get back your dividends as by your share. See, the units, it's not that clear, but this person he has invested 10,000 10, each, 0 0.005 is stamp duty. That is debited for all types of transaction. Uh, that, that is uh, government of India tax. So, for one leg, he has purchased uh, the units. If you take the units, 9999.50 units, he has uh, he purchased that much unit with one leg. So, if this company, but Technically, I'm just saying this. He has invested in multi cap, so there are many companies that he invested. But dividends, though, if we take an example, if someone, a particular company, has a profit of 1000 crore and the dividend per share is rupees 3, so how much he will get if you take 9000 units plus 3 rupees, right? So that much is the how dividend will go to you. But usually, we tell our customers to reinvest their dividends so that it will be, it will be easier for you to. Uh, Take of the statements. So that is how it is. The next customer, this, this is also a very less mock. Till now I have been saying in terms of legs, but this person he has is investing two thousand per month. Two thousand per month, two thousand every month, and till now he has paid sixty-two thousand, and his money has become ninety-three thousand seven hundred. So he's getting a return much much higher than the bank's return. And one another here is again, this guy he has invested ten lakhs in the month of twenty four. It's not clear, no? Twenty four eleven two thousand twenty three. Just two three months ago, he has invested ten lakhs. And in the month of January eighteen, this is the last statement that we have generated for him. That's why he asked for a statement. Actually, we cannot generate. Anytime if we don't we do not receive a uh, request from the customers. Okay, so when we receive the request from the customer, we have generated it was on the 18th January. He has invested 10 lakhs, but after two months, only two months, he got a return of 10 lakhs 65,000. So 65,000 is the return. What if he invested 10 lakhs in bank FD? He will get back 10 lakhs 70,000. 10 lakhs 70,000 after one year. Right, if you complete the interest at seven percent, how much is getting? He's already getting the money from two for from two months. He's getting around the return for one year. So that is how beneficial it is actually. So, but with uh, if there is good thing, there will there are there are always bad things. The stock market can be manipulated actually. So. Uh, it is very difficult to prove that you are manipulating your stocks, actually. But there are certain criteria, or I should say the factors, which are um, driving this stock market. So, I, all examples, so I cannot give, even me, I don't know all the examples. But whatever I know, I will just share it. See, give an example of Ajat Engineering. Ajat Engineering and Rolls Royce, they signed a long term contract. Ajat Engineering signs long term contract with Rolls Royce. Stock keeps all time high. We know what is Rolls Royce, right? Everyone knows what is Rolls Royce. They are the most reputable, I should say, 5.5% in one day. That is how it affects. Example is Swiggy. Swiggy is also a small, small cap company, a startup. Uh, I think most of you must have heard. They deliver food, like, like Zometo and all. Their Swiggy net loss widens 15 percent year on year basis to 4,178 crores, but revenue jumps 45 percent. So what what happens in this case? What do you think their stock will happen? Even though the company is in loss, the net revenue has increased. So people are thinking that if we now the if we invest now, the company will be in profit soon. Okay, so the stock will not the stock has not decreased. It has further increased. Even though the company is in loss, the stock has increased because the revenue, revenue their income has increased. 
So by next year, though, people people are expect, expecting that by next year, though, the company will be in profit. So that's how it affects them. The next is setback for Paytm. Recently, RBI has banned Paytm from uh, taking uh, onboarding any new customers. Why? Because there was some compliance related issues. Uh, exact details, though, it was the letter, the RBI letter is not yet released yet, as far as I know. But it's with related to compliance related because uh, all the entities, financial entities, are regulated by RBI. So we have to be really complied with RBI circulars and all our guidelines. So, but since Paytm has uh, defaulted those things, RBI is part. So Paytm shares fail down like anything. Right? Since Paytm cannot onboard new customers, so what will that happen to their customer, uh, their business? Obviously, the customer will decrease and their business will start failing. So Paytm has, uh, uh, investors has, or the people who has invested through the bank account, they will take out the money from Paytm when they can, right? As of now, though, they might, the, if, if, if someone has invested 1,000 rupees, at that time, too, it might have been 1,500. Okay, they are still at profit, so they will take out the money. If they wait still further, after one, two months, the capital, uh, their investment might have gone below 1,000 also. So that is how it is. Next is Zomato gets RBI approval. Zomato, it is only a food delivery app, but RBI has given approval to operate as an online payment aggregator. So it's kind of a uh, given, they have given a license to uh, act as a broker between customer and bank. So their share has increased. And next is b valuation. I think since this is an education sector, most of us might be aware of uh, Baiju or Biju. They are actually a learning app. They, they, were, they were an invest, uh, start, uh, startup company. Started in the year 2023. And if you check their stocks, if you have invested 3 million in 2013, what will your money has become 2022? It will become, it will become 22 billion. How much profit within this short uh, span of time you are getting the money? That is the, uh, the the return that you get in small invest after investing in small companies like or startup companies. But if you take in 2024, how much is their value? It is 0 0.23 billion. Their stock went up like that, fell suddenly. That is also one risk. Why why their stocks fell? Because there were some issues related with Bejus. They were giving false advertisement or false. Uh, what do you call it? There were many viral videos where they used to harass their employees to uh, convince their, uh, the students' parents to invest more money in the students. Unnecessary courses, they are selling unnecessary courses. So this started and then their values became almost zero. So if you have invested 3 million in 2013, your money might have become 0.23 billion in 2024. So that is the how RICS is the small caps. But if you check, if you have taken out your money in 2022, how much you will have got? You will get 2 billion out of this 3, 3, billion, 3 billion. And this case, I think this is the final one. This case is quite interesting. Adani, uh, I think most of us might have heard Adani company. They are mostly linked with the present government, Modi, Modi government. So, what happens is, uh, this Hindenburg, there is a company in America called Hindenburg. They are a kind of a, a small seller, they call it. They use to target companies, or specific companies who are manipulating the market. Okay, and then they will buy their shares whenever the uh, shares are low, and then they will they will sell the shares whenever the market is high. So what happens is Hindenburg has claimed that. Adani company has manipulated the stock markets. How will they manipulate? Because they are Adani, as per the Hindenburg paper, Adani company is uh, setting up shell companies, we call it, uh, fake companies outside India. And then those companies are buying shares of Adani. Okay, so when there are more uh, purchases, the, uh, the stock of the company will go up, right? So from sales companies, they are buying Adani shares. 
Adani has so many companies, okay? Adani Power, Adani Reliables, Adani Enterprises, these things are here. Adani Gas, Adani Wilmer. So those sales companies are buying stocks of Adani. And then once the share uh, price has increased, this Adani has become once also, I think, the richest person in India, uh, in Asia. So Hindenburg has told that Adani is manipulating the market. So what happens is, after the Hindenburg report came, the Adani shares price went to minus 73 also, below below what people has invested. But interestingly, there was an investigation by uh, Supreme Court. And now though, I don't know whether it's true or not, but it's all conspiracy theories and all, so I don't want to get into it. But Supreme Court has given a clean sheet to Adani Group, saying that there, there are no manipulation in the market. Right after the Supreme Court gave the verdict, how much the return has become? The, the company has gone back to 290% profit, 62, 63, 66% profit. So that is how the market actually is. So that's all. And if the, and like we have discussed, after our special invited speech and all, after the program has finished, we will end the program and those who are not interested, I think we may let them go and if someone is personally interested to open account with our bank or wants to know further regarding loan, whatever it may be, we can have a one-to-one -one discussion, okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, sir. Do you have any queries or questions regarding education loan or like mutual fund, how to open it? We will discuss it after the program, after the refreshment, okay? And the rest, if you don't like to 